Hello, children. Welcome to another interesting lesson in English language composition. We are still talking about punctuation marks. This time, we are going to focus on question mark and exclamation. By the end of the lesson, children, you will be able to use question mark and exclamation mark in sentences. Do you remember what we learned in our previous lesson? Good. In our previous lesson, we learned about punctuation marks, full stops, and comments. What do you say about punctuation mark full stop? Did you try using it in sentences? Yes, we said that punctuation mark full stop and sentences. If you don't put full stop at the end of a sentence, it is assumed that the sentence is continuing. Another mark that we talked about was comma. What did we say about comma? We said that commas are used to pause sentences. Did you get it right? We have keywords here that is going to help us understand today's lesson better. Let's try to understand these keywords. Question. Exclamation. When we say question, it is a sentence which requests for information. What did I say? Question is a sentence which requests for information. For example, for example, what is your name? Which school do you attend? What did you eat today? All these are questions because they request for information. Another key words that we are looking at, the next word is exclamation. This is a remark expressing surprise, strong emotion or pain. It expresses surprise, strong emotion or pain. For example, ah, wow, what a nice car. This Sentences express surprise, strong emotion, or pain. Hence, they are exclamations. Take a look at this mark. Have you seen this mark in sentences before? What is the name given to this mark? Exactly. This mark is a question mark. What do they do in sentences? Remember in our keywords, we talked about what a question is. Do you remember? Good. We said that a question is a sentence that demands an information. So, for a sentence to demand an information, we use question mark at the end of the sentence. Let's construct sentences that demand information and punctuate them using question mark. Let's look at these sentences. Read after me. What is your name? 
Who is your father? When are they coming? Do these sentences need question marks? Yes, because all these sentences demand information. Let's punctuate these sentences using question marks. What is your name? Why do you think the question mark will be? Definitely, the question mark will be at the end of the sentence. Then let's punctuate. Now, the sentence demand an information. What is your name? The second one, where do you think we should put a mark? Who is your father? Again, a question mark will be at the end of the sentence. I believe you can do the rest. When are they coming? You put your mark over there. I know you can do the punctuation mark well. If you don't know, learn how to do it. This is our next punctuation mark. I hope and I believe you've seen some in your storybooks. What is the name of this mark? Yes, it's an exclamation mark. What do they do in sentences? Do you remember when we were discussing our keywords? Good. We said that exclamation mark shows surprise or emotions or even pain in sentences. Look at these sentences on the board. Read after me. Look at these sentences on the board. Read after me. What a nice car. Wow, I love this shirt. All these sentences express emotions. Let's punctuate the sentences using exclamation mark. What a nice car. Wow, I love this shirt. Wow, I love this shirt. Looking at our first sentence on the board, the mark was placed at the end of the sentence. But in sentence two, the mark was placed right after the first word. Why do you think the mark was placed right after the first word? It was placed over there because it is plain emphasis on wow. That is why we placed the mark over there. So, it is that word that is expressing the emotion. There are some sentences on the board. Children, help me punctuate these sentences on the board. How are you doing?
please help me now. This sentence demands an exclamation mark. Number three, it is raining. Is it raining outside? Is it raining outside? In the last sentence, my new bike is so fast. Okay, children, we have come to the end of another interesting punctuation lesson. What did we say? Good. We talked about punctuation, question mark, and exclamation mark. What do they do in sentences? Good. We said that question mark asks for information and exclamation shows emotion and feelings in sentences. Take your daughters, write sentences, Control them using question mark and exclamation mark. Until I come your way again, it's bye-bye.